What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you're having an amazing day to this video I'm going to be sharing a small little feature in a software that really helps me into switching phones so for example if you don't already know if you follow me on Instagram I do actually use two phones so a Galaxy S10 Plus and a Redmi K20 Pro on a daily basis basically S10 Plus is just my flex phone or just use it outside and K20 Pro which I use inside for flying my drone then again some media content and everything but I do actually switch my Redmi K20 Pro in a while. So for example, whenever I want to just test ROM or anything on it, I just switch to a Poco Phone F1, then a Redmi Note 4, but between switching, I lose a lot of my data. Cause for example, I just can't switch between phones and their data directly from my PC. If you just copy the files from phone to phone, it just doesn't work. Windows is just not developed like that. So I have to just take a backup on my PC, then again, just copy everything onto the next phone, then again, just install everything on the next phone, which would be like 10 to 15 apps of my everything, like my drones and stuff. So I will be now presenting you a much more better and simpler option, which would be a feature into a software, Dr. Phone's phone transfer. So let's just take a look on the PC. So once you're onto the PC, setting up the phone isn't that hard at all. You have to just launch the Dr. Phone software. It will take a couple of seconds as my laptop is on battery. But there you go it's quite quick and this is the whole suit so again over here you get amazing options right over here so for example you can screen unlock which i did actually try and it actually guided me through my whole stuff with the k20 pro it actually detected that it's a xiaomi phone it guided through me all the recovery stuff which is pretty great you have system repair so if you watch my videos and if you break your phone this might be handy and this is the phone transfer that we will be taking a look at you have phone backup virtual location for the ios phones which don't actually have mock locations like android so that's really helpful and then you have phone manager data recovery and whatsapp transfer which again could come in handy if you are switching to a newer phone but just go into the phone transfer which is our main focus right over here you have direct ui for both of the phones so we will be just plugging it into our redmi k20 pro so again if you have a complicated phone like this one so this is the xiaomi miui phone you have to just go to your settings about phone section all specs you have MIA version, you have to just tap on it a couple of times until you enable the developer options. This would be build number into a stock Android phone. Then you have to just go to the developer options by additional settings, developer options, and then enable USB debugging and install via USB. This will make things much more easier to just shift the data. So again, turn these both on, then just go to your home and connect the phone to your PC. That's quite simple. Again, if you have a stock Android phone, it will guide you through. Again, as you can see, our K20 Pro has been connected. There you go, it's been completely detected. Now let's just plug in the Redmi Note 4, which I would be switching to. Again, a Pixel Experience ROM, which I would be testing for a few days. So plugging in that pretty quick. Again, I haven't actually set up the doctor phone right over here on this phone. So it would be doing everything itself. As you can see, it's connecting. Installing the connector app, okay. This will manage everything on your phone. Both the phones have been connected completely. Again, if you face any kind of issues right over here, that would be basically the stock messaging app wanted to switch. If it wants to transfer the messages from one phone to another, but again, as you can see, I don't have anything over here as I don't use SIM in this phone. So I would be like to transfer my apps and my photos onto Redmi Note 4, which is connected right over here from the Redmi K20 Pro. Again, you can just flip it right over here. Pretty easy. Again, as you can see, I got this pop-up as I'm using the latest versions of Android. So again, if you are on the Android 10 or something above like from Lollipop, you will get this option. So you have to just switch your default SMS app from messages to connector. This won't change your messaging services at all. It will only kick in whenever you are using this software. As you can see, it's loading all the data from the Redmi Note 4 too, but I can just flip it right away to just switch from this phone to this phone. So start the transfer and it's pretty quick. Because the default Windows Explorer onto the Windows 10 will actually transfer one by one and build up the speed of read and write. Whereas over here, it will directly transfer all the apps and everything right onto the next phone. So for example, I can just grab my Redmi Note 4 right over here. And you can see in lifetime, it's installing all the apps right over here. So for example, it just installed Snapchat, all the Antutu benchmarks from the Redmi K20 Pro. Now it's installing the Instagram, which again, as you can see, just installed right over there. So this makes my job much more faster and easier to be honest. And yeah, that's basically it. A much more simpler option to just transfer between phone to phone if you have multiple phones or you are just like me who switches phones time to time. And again, if you want the product links in the description, again, links will be everything for in the comments too. Again, you can use the coupon code down below for almost like 10% off. So that really helps. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.